Welcome to Diet.com video, I'm Sarah Dusso, and today I'm joined by Athelia Woolley who is the owner and designer for ShabbyApple.com which is an online website that has women's fashions. And so a lot of you at home have made some recent comments that you think I've made some poor choices in my wardrobe in regards to my body figure. So I've asked Athelia today to help me out with choosing what to wear to flatter my figure. So Athelia, what are some key points in figuring out how to flatter your figure? The first and most important point is to figure out exactly what your figure is, what type of body you have, and then never deviate from things that flatter it, ever. Um, so if you go to our website, you can click on this link that says Fit to Flatter, and you take a little quiz and it tells you exactly what body type you have, and then exactly what to do, and more importantly, what not to do for that body type. Okay, so today I am modeling off the curvy, uh, the curvy dress, I guess. <laughs> so this is our duck beach dress. And as you can see, it has a sash that ties, it sort of threads through the waist and then ties at the waist in a bow. And this is because it emphasizes a small waist and a small rib, cra rib cage, which is great for you. So it also the cross at the top emphasizes a full chest, which is great for you as well. And then the skirt is a full skirt too. So it also emphasizes a curvy figure nicely. And I also love the color, I must add. Um, so next, we actually have Nicole, who is a pencil. pencil. Yes. So Nicole's a pencil, and she's wearing her tender as a night dress. Um, what's great about this dress is if you're a pencil or you're an apple, you want to kind of not highlight the fact that you don't have a, a really straight, a small waist. So this dress has lots of ruffles that kind of cover the waist area, but it also has, it's short and it has um, short sleeves so that if you have small arms and small legs, it highlights those. Awesome, thank you, Nicole. And next for an athletic build, we have Jamie. So Jamie's dress is really great. It's called Elizabeth the First Dress. And it's great for an athletic build because it has clingy material. And if you have a lot of muscles, you want to highlight those and emphasize them by wearing clingy fabrics. Um, the other great thing about this dress is that it has detailing at the collar and it has ruffles at the sleeves as well. And if you are an athletic body, you want to make it sure that you dress a little bit femininely. So add little like details, ruffles, lace, things like that. Okay, thank you, Jamie. And lastly, we have you. Uh, okay. What are you wearing? So this is our 16 Candles dress. It kind of has an 80s flair. And um, this is actually great for a pair. So I gain weight on my hips and my thighs. And so this, what this dress does is it emphasizes a small waist, but any problems I have in my hips and thighs are completely covered. Awesome. Um, and so I guess basically, last, what are a few key points for people who might be a little bit bigger? A lot of our viewers are trying to lose weight. Um, what are some definite don'ts for them? Don't wear clingy fabric. Um, don't wear really loud prints and patterns. But do wear a lot of dark colors. That'll slim you down. And you also have an iPhone app that's coming out, and it says all of this that you're telling me right now, right? Yes. And they yes. can find that online on shabbyapple.com? Mm -hmm. On iTunes and Shabby Apple. It's called Fit to Flatter. And also tell them about what else they can find on the website. So on the website, you can find dresses for every type of figure that you possibly want. And um, you can also find not just what looks good in terms of a dress, but what shoes you should wear, what accessories, what pants, skirts, etc. for your body type. Check out shabbyapple.com and also check out their iPhone app. And as always, subscribe to Diet Health. I'm Sarah and I'll see you next time.